Hi everyone, in this video we are going to look at how a piston works inside an engine cylinder. The heart of every internal combustion engine whether it's in a car, bike or generator. Let's break it down part by part. The cylinder. The cylinder is the main chamber where all the action happens. The fuel burns, pressure builds or power is generated. Inside, inside the cylinder, the piston moves up and down to convert the fuel energy into motion. The inner surface of the cylinder is called cylinder wall. And it must be perfectly smooth so that the piston can move freely without losing pressure. The piston. The piston is a cylindrical component that fits strongly inside the cylinder. It moves up and down. That's called, uh, that's called reciprocating motion. The piston's job is to compress the air fuel mixture and then transfer the, ex the explosion's power to the crankshaft through the connecting rod. When the piston moves upward, it compresses and air fuel mixture. Downward, it delivers the power stroke. This up and down motion repeats hundreds of times every second while the engine is running. Crank mechanism. The piston is connect connected to crank mechanism made up of the connecting rod and the crankshaft. As the piston moves up and down, the connecting rod transfers that motion to the crankshaft which converts it into rotary motion. That rotary motion is what turns your vehicle's wheel. So basically, Piston moves up and down, crankshaft rotates, vehicles move forward. Top gear center and bottom gear center. When the piston at its high point, it's called top gear center. T D C. When it's at its lowest point, it's called the bottom dead center. B. D. C. The distance the piston travels between these two points is known as the stroke. A longer stroke means more torque. A shorter stroke allows higher P, uh, higher RPM revolutions per minute. So, the stroke length determines how the engine behaves more power or more speed. Bore clearance volume. The bore is the diameter of the cylinder, basically how wide the piston is. A bigger bore means a larger cylinder and usually more power, since more air fuel mixture and fit inside. The small space left between the piston top and the cylinder head, even when the piston at, its, at the top dead center, it called the clearance. Even when the piston at the top dead center it called a clearance volume, the space ensures there is always enough room for the fuel mixture to compress safely before ignition. Sparkle plug or fuel injector. 
at the top of the cylinder you will find either spark plug or fuel injector depend on the engine type in a petrol engine the spark plug ignition the air fuel mixture with the spark in a diesel engine the fuel injector sprays fuel into the highly compressed air causing it to ignite automatically this is combustion produce high pressure gases that push the piston downward and that the power stroke that drives the engine valve there are usually two valves on top of the cylinder the intake valve lets the air fuel mixture in the exhaust valve lets the burnet gases out these valves open and close at precise timing controlled by the crank uh, uh, sorry controlled by the camshaft ensuring smooth operation of all four stroke intake compression power and exhaust reciprocating and rotary motion here is the key concept the piston performs reciprocating motion it moves up and down the crankshaft converts into the into rotary motion spinning movement that's how linear motion from fuel combustion because f f from fuel combustion becomes Retrotional motions that drives your wheels, fans, or generators. So, let's quickly summarize what's happening inside the cylinder. The piston moves up and down inside the cylinder wall. At the top are valve and spark plug or injector. The bore is the cylinder the diameter and the stroke its piston movement range the crank mechanism converts the piston reciprocating motion into rotary motion the top dead center and bottom dead center define the piston limits combustion inside the cylinder powers the piston and the piston power the crank shift completing the energy conversion that's the basic working of a very internal combustion engine simple precise and powerful and that's how the piston and the cylinder work together inside an engine if you found this explanation helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more mechanical engineering topics made simple see you in the next one